Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome to another video, another review, and we're back in the top six now, the brother. Don't ask me what's happened because that time that we spent six defeats in a row, I was sat here saying to all of you, "Ah, well, I might be it now. The season's probably over. But we'll get back in the top six because I was just saying it, how I could see. I've seen it how it was. You know what I mean? Take off the rose tinted glasses, put them to one side." Tell out how it is, do you know what I mean? In that six game period where that's Brooke couldn't even find the back of the net, it was terrible. Apart from George Savills at Swansea, but apart from that, it was terrible. But we seem to have turned a corner now at the right time and the form's starting to change a little bit now. Do you know what I mean? Back to back 1 0 wins. Happy days, do you know what I mean? Beating Hull went yesterday, beat that opposition as well. And that's what it's all about, do you know what I mean? It's all about going there each and every game. And everyone knew that yesterday. It was going to be tough, do you know what I mean? There was no point trying to get around it. We knew that yesterday, Stoke City, do you know what I mean? Beating Hull, beating Stoke 1-0. Fantastic, but Stoke's team, when you look at it, and I'm still going to say it now, even though we've beaten 1-0, they're players in their team. They've still got half a Premier League team, and the 16th in the Championship, and the only way I can see to why they're 16th is because, for one, I think they appointed the wrong manager, and second, the new manager came in, even though he's had a bit of a long time to sort of deal with the team, it was in League One before, he took over Stoke, and they still got our Premier League team, and it's just an all bit of all over the place. And I think next season, watch Stoke, because I reckon that they might push them. I'm not saying they're going to win the league, I'm not saying they're going to go up automatically, just watch them, because I feel like next season, they'll probably finish a lot higher than what they've done this season, or whatever else they're going to finish, because at the minute, like I say, I'm in the R16th. The Butter, sixth now, point clear of Bristol. Of course, Bristol City have still got to play Millwall in their game and hand and dive. We've got to go to Swansea. That's two tough games for both of them. You look at it now. Three games left for the butter. And I'm looking at it thinking to myself, if we can get past Nottingham Forest on Monday, honestly, I just want us to go for it from then. I think if this was a horse race, right, this is the last hurdle for me. Now, the last big jump is Nottingham Forest. If we get past them, we've got Redden and Rotherham. I'm not trying to say I'm going to underestimate them. I just feel like we have more of a chance of beating them than what maybe we do Nottingham Forest in terms of how tough it's going to be. Now, don't get me wrong. Do you know what I mean? Reading are in form a little bit. And Rotherham is still sort of there. But at the end of the day, yeah, we've got to keep doing what we're doing, playing the way we're playing. And I think we'll be all right. I do. It only for being Nottingham Forest on Monday. Now, listen, my heart, right, is going to be in bits in these last three games, right? It's going to be an absolute bit. And it's going to be nailed back right to the end. And we're going to get the playoffs, and we're not going to get the playoffs. And as I say, it's, right now the ball is in our court. We're sick, you know what I mean? We're in the playoffs. We can't mess it up from this point on, right? When we mess it up, who knows? But at this moment in time, we can't mess it up right now. We have to go for it. It's simple as that, you know what I mean? If this, you know what I mean? if this club, then players and the manager, want to go back to the Premier League this season, which I know, listen, is a massive thing to say. It's a massive statement, go back to the Premier League over the season that we've had. If they really do want to try, because in the playoffs, right, anything can happen. And on the day at Wembley, Borough never won there, but who knows, it could be Borough's first time. And that's the thing, sort of things that you got to weigh up. Now, I was suggested against Stoke, and I thought to myself, first half, first couple of minutes, ball comes up from Mikel, house on the cross, some belonger 1 0. Wow, I thought straight away, this is going to be excellent. I'm going to get 4 or 5. We, do you know what I mean? I mean, the way we started, absolutely excellent, but then we died off a little bit, and I don't get it. At home, I don't get, I don't get what goes through us at home. I don't, I don't understand it. It's never ever made sense to me in the fact of when we're playing at home and we scored one goal, we'll sit back and that's inviting pressure on. And I fear that if we do get to the playoffs and that first leg's at home against, if oh, this is it. Well, Borough finished sixth and Sheffield Jack and our Leeds finished third. That's who Borough play. If we're not able to Riverside and we sit back on a one nil, I feel like it could go pear shaped. I want to see us more attacking at home first half and in the second half. Because even in the second half yesterday, we provided nothing. And it was so lacklustre and so boring. And I've used the word boring at home to describe performance in the second half so much. Win or lose, they are boring. Do you know what I mean? It is boring in the second half of the Borough games. It really is. And, and I don't get why that is. I, I can't understand. It's never wants to make sense to me this season. But on a positive note, good goal by Britt, Johnny took it well, brilliant cross from uh, Johnny Alston, even better pass from Johnny, John Owen McHale to obviously find out Johnny Alston. And I say, what's he on now, 13 goals for the season now, 13, 14 goals now for Britt's on Belonga, and what did he get last season, 16, so he's probably averaging for the Borough so far, about 16 goals a season, depending on what he's, well, obviously, I mean, depending on whatever he finishes on. Monday is a massive game for Britt's on Belonga, they're not enough Forest fans, I don't know if there's still a bit of bad blood between them and Britt's on Belonga, but I know the last time we played them last year, 
He had three one on ones and he missed every single one. And then Nor oh, I should say the Nottingham Forest fans, listen, they got on his back. And I just think to myself, I'm one day, Brit, take your time, compose yourself. Do you know what I mean? I know you're going back against your old club. If you've got a one on one chance, take it because at the minute we need the three points. And if he's the man that's in the 90th minute got about ball at his foot and he needs to score the goal, put it in the back of the net. It's simple as that. But overall, do you know what I mean? It's another three points. Another three points on the board now. And I say, you know what I mean, point clear of seventh. And it's happy days at the minute, you know, it's happy days. And I think, you know what I mean, the positivity is starting to come back around the riverside. You know what I mean, you know what I mean, outside the town, well, she said, outside inside the town, everyone's still a bit positive and everyone's still feeling good. It's all about us, you know what I mean, three games to go. It's literally, man, the ball is in our court. It is there, we're sixth in the league. And listen, anything that happened last three games, but it's a butter, come on now. I mean, what a season's been, what a roller coaster it's been. And right now, right now, right, we're going to this little bit of roller coaster where it goes chicka 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 right now. And it could go not in the forest, it could just go straight down, the ride's finished, or you can get the loop de loops and have all the fun parts after beating Nottingham Forest, go to the playoffs and then seeing exactly what it ends like at Wembley. That's the hope that you really hope for. You don't mean the butter fan, but listen, it's still massive, do you know what I mean? It's still potentially five games to go. That's been the obviously obviously the two games had the um, playoffs, of course, I mean the three games after the season, but you got to look at it as every game as it comes. That's all we're doing right now. I should say that. That's all I'm doing as a fan. And I hope the players are doing the same thing. Do you know I mean? Hopefully no one's thinking about being on the beach early. And do you know what I mean? Just play for this badge. Give 100% every single game. And for me, Monday is a massive game. Not on the Forest away. Not on the Forest first and foremost. Massive club. Loads of history. They shouldn't be in the Championship for me. Do you know what I mean? Not on the Forest should be inside the Premier League. That's my own opinion. I mean, the club's absolutely huge. Loads. And I mean, loads of history there. And I've been to City Ground once. I can't wait to go back there on Monday. I am really looking forward to the trip. I'm hoping we leave the three points. I really am because, you know, when you look at the league table last night, uh, I don't think they're inside the top 12, not on the forest. I, mean, I think they're actually below that. So for me, listen, I know we can't underestimate them, but Borah, it's literally in our hands. I can't say it much more. We beat Stoke, which, listen, was always going to be our game, but Borah got past them. We got past Hull City as well. Now, Borah, you've got three more teams to beat, and then we hopefully get 10 playoffs. We'll wait and see what happens. Man of the match yesterday as well. I just want to do a quick shout out to Paddy McNair, Johnny Housen, Darren Randolph. Them three individuals yesterday for me were standouts. But the most, them, the most two important players for me yesterday: Johnny Housen, Paddy McNair. Paddy McNair didn't rate him when he first came to the club, but I tell you what, now my whole opinion on the guy has changed from yesterday's performance. I thought he was absolutely, and I mean it, absolutely fantastic yesterday. He was first to everything that came at him. He was going on runs. His passes were spot on. He got his head up every single time. He's trying to find a man. And Johnny Alston as well. Absolute work. He doesn't stop. Johnny Alston, that's what I mean. He doesn't stop. You know what I mean? He's not a right back, right? Johnny Alston's not a right back. But he doesn't. He almost looks like he doesn't mind. Do you know what I mean? He's slotting. Play with the manager telling him to play. And he just gets on with his job. Johnny Alston. Paddy McNair. Absolutely spot on. Listen, if I could give a joint man of the match yesterday, it would have gone to both of them. I thought they were absolutely fantastic. I thought Adam Clayton as well. I thought he had a good game yesterday, but the man of the match for me yesterday, I'm going to have to give it probably to Johnny Housen. Paddy McNair comes close with Johnny Housen. Workhorse all season long. He's an unsung hero for me in this football club. And inside this team, he doesn't get enough praise. He's absolutely spot on. Does a job every single time. So yeah, Johnny Housen, my man of the match yesterday. Who did you think was man of the match? Comment down below in the comment section. Check out all my social medias. Link in the description. And guys, please do subscribe if you haven't already. We're so close to two kids, actually unreal. And the minute we hit 2,000 subscribers, the FIFA 20 giveaway will happen in September. So, yeah, guys, as always, like, comment, share, subscribe, and up the butter.